All right, um, so today's video will be about the subwoofer that matches the line array speakers for my computer setup. So this is the low end 0.1 part of my 2.1 system for my uh, PC gaming setup. And it's just kind of for my office as well. So the overall start of this is that it is four four inch mid bass drivers that I got from Parts Express. Um, I'll put up the specs for these on the screen here. This box was built in four separate pieces and then printed out on my 3D printer. And then it was all assembled and sanded and painted. And then this front face here was a resin fill. Um, it was a just a two-part epoxy resin with a black dye and a purple pearl put into it to kind of tie it up and give it kind of a breakup of the lots of white negative space. So box construction consists of PETG, each piece consuming roughly 750 grams of filament. The attachment style was a um, kind of slot and groove setup where there was an extrusion on one piece and it would slot into like a under extruded part of another piece and that just helped me center and square everything up. It was held together with two part epoxy, just a JB weld style epoxy. As you see in some of the footage when I was doing the paint prep on this, it, um, I actually ran out of white filament mid print and so I had to actually fill in with some gray filament as well which really made the paint and prep work all the more important to kind of give this a, a very seamless one piece look and so that way it doesn't look like there's four pieces put together which if you look here it's very hard to see that there's four separate boxes here but I took advantage of the line between the speakers to hide that um, seam so that you can't really tell that there's a seam there. So using four drivers in this instead of one larger driver, one, it saved me space as I only have to have something that is now about six inches wide, seven inches wide, I don't know exact, but it's not super wide, maybe eight inches tops. But it also let me control the sound output from this a little better um, in a general bass reflex, if you just have one subwoofer, it's kind of a one note wonder. It will perform really well for one note and then it will kind of fall off within probably 20 to 40 hertz either direction. But when you start stacking up speakers, you get a plus three decibel for essentially every speaker added. You get a plus three decibel boost in effective sound. So adding three extra speakers gave me a nine decibel increase over one, which is the equivalent of double the sound output in terms of human hearing. 10 decibels is equivalent to about twice as loud to us. You can effectively double the output by just adding speakers. So that was kind of my goal here. Plus it matches the theme of the line array. The line array was a bunch of speakers in a kind of a vertical pattern. Unfortunately, I can't put this in a vertical pattern under my desk. It kind of just has to lay underneath, as you'll see here later during some testing. But it does give kind of the same feel of speakers in a line inside of the box. So to me, it matches and it kind of feels like it belongs. So the speakers are wired in series parallel. I have two sets of speakers that are wired in series and then those two sets are wired in parallel and they get fed through some M5 bolts to the outside of the box which then runs to the 2.1 amplifier that I purchased for my computer speaker system. So that's kind of the wiring scheme that's going on here. Overall cost on this whole setup here, this whole box, is less than about a hundred dollars which I mean seems like a lot but for what you get out of it, it actually is a very cost-effective way of doing things. So the big spender here obviously is the 4-inch drivers, and if you could cut costs in a 4-inch driver, you could replicate this much cheaper. But I chose to go with a decent Dayton Audio driver, and I believe these were $15 a piece. 
Um, overall, this used about three and a half rolls of filament, so depending on how much you're spending on filament, um, that can be anywhere between $10 to $20 a roll of filament, depending on what you're buying. And you could get away cheaper by cutting back on some of the infill and the wall thickness. And then on the inside wall, I added some acoustic foam. Um, I didn't want to have it sound too plasticky, so I felt that the added foam in the back would break up some of them back sound waves and help them come out of the speaker without bouncing too much off of the plastic. Because, um, I mean, it is, it's kind of hollow, as you can hear. Overall, though, I'm very happy with the speaker and um, I feel that it fits the new PC setup quite well. But yeah, we'll get into some testing and then we'll get into some um, listening. And when we do the listening test, it will be hooked up to the 2.1 so that way you actually get the highs and the mids as well. So you can kind of see how full it is. I'll turn the sub up and down when we do that to kind of see what it adds in. But that's kind of the way we'll do the listening test. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, I'll see you guys back here. Before that, a word about today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by PCBWay, a leading provider of customized PCB services. Whether you're a hobbyist or professional, PCBWay offers high quality, affordable PCB manufacturing and assembly. With the quick turnaround time and excellent customer support, PCBWay ensures your product are successful. Visit PCBWay.com to start your project today and bring your electronic innovations to life. Okay, so we're in REW here taking a look at some of the SPL results from different points of measurements. So first up, the red line here. This is the subwoofer box with no crossover filters, nothing added, just the raw output sitting on a desk in a somewhat controlled environment with the microphone sitting about eight inches away from the center of the subwoofer as shown in the video. The green line is the subwoofer placed underneath my desk with no crossovers installed in it played at my ear. So this is what I would be hearing sitting at my desk at just my normal listening position with the subwoofer under the desk in its normal position that it would be in. And then we look at this graph, and this is the full 2.1 system played at my ear level. So this is what I hear when it plays through the amplifier that is on the computer. So this is all of the internal crossovers from the amplifier, all the external crossovers from inside the speakers, all combined into this. And so we can see that my whole system has a little bit of a dip right here at around the 900 hertz region. So I'm gonna look into a DSP to potentially fix that. I don't know if I can artificially boost this or if I can just cut some of this down to make it more of an even drop off. But overall, I do like the kind of taper off in SPL as we get into the higher ranges as it somewhat reflects the listening range of human hearing is that we get to lower notes, we need it to be louder for it to seem to be the same loudness for us. So that's kind of, it's kind of working out in my favor that way. Um, I'm really happy with how low this does get, as we can see. It's coming clear down to the 30 hertz range, and then it starts to really drop off, which I am completely fine with that. I don't need anything down in this 20-ish hertz range, as it's not super useful to me, as I can't even hear that low anymore. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to even hear 30 hertz anymore. So I'm really happy with the kind of output that this sub was making inside of the little enclosure that I did. So, But yeah. That is the frequency response of the entire 2.1 system.
right, so now that we've listened to the speaker, uh, seen what it does, uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think um, down in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. It really helps me um, grow the channel and bring these projects to you guys for free like I always do. Um, these files will be up on Thingiverse. If there's another 3D place you want me to put these files, please leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to put them somewhere else too. Um, so yeah, uh, have a good one guys.